So today we're going to fully jailbreak your Fire Stick. You can do this on a Fire TV, um, any Amazon streaming device. And what we're going to do, we're going to go step by step, the latest updated version we've done. And if you're watching it at a later date, it will also still work. So what we're going to do step by step, and we're going to take it nice and slow. So we know it's not really jailbreaking. We know it's side loading, but the jailbreak term is used all over YouTube and we need to use it ourselves so we can educate as many people as we can to get these great apps. OK, so the first thing we're going to do, if you're installing from an external source and you're going to be installing apps you don't really know much about, is fire up your VPN. So I'm going to fire up my VPN and for this video we're using NordVPN. So NordVPN, I'm going to connect now. And to know more about Nord, I will um, tell you all about it at the end of this video. So what we're going to do now, we need an application so we can install from an external source outside of the Amazon ecosystem. So you're going to go to your magnifying glass. You're going to go to search and in here, we're going to type in the word downloader. D-O-W-N-L-O-A-D-E-R. You can then click this and you're going to install it. It's free. I know it says I own it, but it's 100% free. This is a free app in the Amazon App Store. And we're going to install. If at any point I become ahead of where you're at, just pause the video. OK, next up, do not open it yet. Push your home button on the remote and then go across to your settings icon. Go down to My Fire TV. Um, if you're on a de TV device, it might say device and software. And in here, you're going to want to click on developer options. If you do not have developer options, um, you need to click on about. And where it says Fire TV Stick 4K Max, click that seven times. Then it will say you're a developer. So when you're back here, you can then click on developer options. Anyone having any difficulties with that bit, there is a video in the description on how to get the developer options. OK, now we're going to open developer options. You're going to turn ADB debugging on. And you're going to click on install unknown apps and you're going to turn it on for downloader. Perfect. Brilliant. Now, back to your home screen. So click the home button on your remote. Have you all kept up to date so far? Let me know in the comments if you're still following along. Right. Next, to the free squares and the plus, to where your app library is, go to My Apps. Then, we go down to the bottom and you'll find the downloader app. You can click this open. Here, it is very important you allow this permission. The permission is behind my head. Let me just get out of the way. So click allow and then click OK on this one. Brilliant. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go directly to the page where we can download from. So it's not tricky. We're not got multiple pages to click through. And you're going to type in here 7, 2, 4, 3, 6. You're going to then click go. OK, that now connects. It connects to the downloads page. So just wait a few seconds. Prime time for you to hit that follow button while you're waiting. Drop me your thoughts underneath. While that's loading up, you scroll down and you click the download button, okay? If this clicks up, just push consent. It's just because the website has adverts on it. You click download and that will download for you. If at any point you have any issues with the download, it won't download or it's not connecting. This may be you being blocked by your internet service provider. In that case, you will need your VPN on like I did at the beginning. OK, let me get out the way for this step. We now click on install. We now click on done and then we click on delete. OK, very important to delete that file as well. Brilliant. What we will do now is go back to where our apps were. I may as well come back. Across to the free squares and the plus again. Go to my apps. And at the bottom is your latest installed application. Um, this application has loads of apps in it. I will show you in a second. Well, kind of show you. But what we need to do is a bit similar to what we did at the beginning, because this is now an app store. And that app store is going to install onto your device. So to do that, we need to turn on that permission. So again, we go to our settings. We go to My Fire TV or Devices and Software. We go back in Developer Options because we've turned this on now. And then Install Unknown Apps, you turn it on for this app store. Perfect. We can now go and open it up. So back to your 
app, sorry, going a bit quick there, back to your home screen, then back to your free squares and the plus, my apps, right down to the bottom, and you can open it up. Again, you will need to accept any permissions as it opens. Perfect. And in here, you will see there's loads of different categories. When it comes to what apps you're allowed and what you're not, obviously this video is out worldwide. The video is out worldwide, so it's down to your individual country, what licensing laws are at, who owns the rights to each film, programs, whatever you're watching. So you need to check that out for yourself. This is an app store with loads of official apps and probably so much might be unofficial in your country. So do check that out before you open it. Some of these have pin numbers to open. If anyone needs the pin numbers, do comment underneath. Um, certain ones are pin locked for obvious reasons, okay? So if you need those pins, do comment in the comments underneath and someone will reply to you if it's not me or check other people's comments because I'll try to re reply to some, as many as we can, okay? And that's all in there for you and that should work perfectly. Brilliant. As I stated at the beginning, Really appreciate if you hit that follow button, whichever platform you're watching on. Obviously, the main platform is on YouTube, so you'll find that link just by searching Doc Squiffy on YouTube. And the VPN is linked underneath for you as well. It is linked underneath where we got some of the best deals on NordVPN for you. And that is obviously what is worth using online. There's one there with plus four extra months for free. So it's very good, very useful. They have a few different price packages depending on which ones suit you. There's monthly plans, yearly plans, two yearly plans, whatever might work your try with a 30 day money back guarantee and you can use it on more devices than just your fire stick or fire tv android phones pcs you name it you can pretty much use it on it if you're connecting to the internet remember if you do search doc squiffy on youtube on whatever platform you're watching we're also on twitter tiktok instagram uh, facebook just search doc squiffy or the real doc squiffy you will find us you will also find on my youtube there's tons of videos so you might be having issues with your streaming device whether it is turning on those developer options, that sort of thing, whether it's the Wi-Fi speed, whether it's being able to watch certain things, whether it's a different device, whether it's Roku, Android TV, all the videos are here for you. Plus we release two to three a week. So you're gonna get plenty of content and you're gonna stay up to date with all the latest updates, all the latest features. And this way you can stay up to date and not miss a thing, okay? We've got VPNs, we've got free VPNs, we've got app stores, we've got other setup guides. As you can see how popular this style of video has been in the past for us because obviously it works. One with over 2 million views here, okay? 2 million views to do what we just did now, okay? And that's because it works, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed that video and I'm not gonna keep rambling on. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. Really like to hear your thoughts underneath on that one. Hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you on the next one.